everyone and welcome back for today's video we are going to do a 2023 goals um like new year's resolution type of video i'm going to show you how i'm going to do my 2023 vision board um and this is inspired by another youtuber i saw how she did it and i was like that's genius so i'm going to go into that and i'm also going to show my vision board from last year so we can kind of see the difference <laughs> So it's going to be 2023, everyone is thinking about their New Year's resolutions, what you want to do differently next year, um, what you, you know, how much weight you want to lose, all that stuff, and I'm no exception, I created a vision board and I did it digitally so that I have it with me all the time on my phone. But I want to show you last year's vision board and kind of like where I'm going, like what I'm what I'm doing differently this year. So, <clears throat> not everything on this vision board do I completely agree with now. I just wanna say that. I did cover up some stuff that is a little bit more personal that I don't wanna share. But this is my vision board. <laughs> now this is huge. And last year I was like, oh, I'm gonna make a really big vision board and it's gonna be on the wall and it's gonna stare at me in the face every day and I'm gonna get inspired. That was not the case. I did not like how large this was after making it. It was just like a little too much to like have on my wall. And honestly, this vision board was more discouraging, a little bit more discouraging than I thought. <laughs> it's not supposed to be discouraging, but this vision board was kind of discouraging to me and just not great vibes with this vision board. But I mean, it looked cool, but on my vision board, like some things on here that I feel were just not great decisions to make. I mean, okay, this coming year I want to lose some weight and I know like a lot of people do, but I think some of the inspiration I put on here was just not healthy. Like I put, every time you say no to food, you say yes to thin, a very thin woman here, a very thin woman here, kind of like Xing out all junk food. I think that that's just not, not where my mind is this year. I have a, or this, for this coming year, I have a very different vision of what health and fitness and weight loss is to me. So I, I think this was just not great vibes. And then this is what I disliked about this board so much. And I should have just covered it up, but I just ended up taking the whole thing down. I put, don't be weak. Now there are many different ways that I could have worded this that were not as like down on myself. Like I put don't be weak, that implies that I am weak. So like, I don't know, this is like just not, not something that I should have in front of myself all the time. I should have put like some inspirational quote about like being strong or being confident or, or something a lot more encouraging, not like don't be weak. Like I could just picture like a coach or like someone saying don't be weak. And I don't know, I thought that was a good idea to put on there and it was not. Um, some things I have on my vision board this year, like going skiing, I, I've never gone skiing. I really, really want to ski, like travel. I wanted to put Peloton inspiration on here. Um, no internet, like unplugging for a while, reading. A lot of this stuff is fine. I even had some like really artificial stuff on here. Like a, there's a Louis Vuitton First, I can't even remember what it's called now, but I really wanted that. And then I still want this, a Balenciaga purse. But up here, I had good vibes only, that was good. I put some inspirational stuff about growing on social media and some of these things I do have on my next vision board. My favorite thing on this vision board was this quote that I continue to read, like to tell myself throughout the whole year, I want to see what happens if I don't give up. I have that on my next vision board because I, it's so easy to give up on stuff when you feel discouraged or like it's not going anywhere, but I wanted to see what would happen because who knows what would happen if I just didn't give up on stuff. So I am gonna keep this, but it just is not what I wanted to do this year for my vision board. And I just wanted to be a little bit more, like not as, tough on myself. I feel like this was almost like, like beast, don't be weak. You need to get, 
this many followers on all your social media. I don't know, this just was not, never encouraged me. And my next vision board, I feel like I really tried to put things that were encouraging and not like putting myself down at all. So I'm gonna show you my vision board and I'm gonna kind of talk through my goals. So I'm gonna have my vision board on the screen because it is digital and I'm gonna kind of walk you through it. Um, I, on my vision board, I have a lady with a half sleeve because my goal is to have a half sleeve um, on this arm actually, on my right arm and I love that piece. Um, hers is in color, I want mine all black and white but that's just like something I want to continue to like work on is my half sleeve. This window picture here that's a tattoo I really want. And then I have my quote, I wanna see what happens if I don't give up because I want that on my vision board this year because it, it just like resonated with me throughout the entire year. Throughout all of 2022, that was on my mind. I have my Canon camera on there um, and I put that as a reminder to use my camera to make sure that I'm vlogging because that's what I want to do or to just make videos that make me happy and that's the whole reason I bought this camera. I could have continued to use my phone, it worked, but I bought this camera as kind of like, you're gonna spend money on this and you are going to use it and you're going to make content that makes you happy. It was a gift to myself, a, a better equipment, the videos look better, but it was also kind of like, here you go, now go and create. I put a set of weights on here because I really want to weight lift more this year. I was very focused on cardio 2022, on and off, and did not really weight lift, but I see the benefits of weightlifting in so many people that I follow on YouTube and I really want to weightlift this year. I want to become stronger. I want to see more definition in my muscle and like my arms. So that's something I'm really excited to do. And I put a kettlebell as well because I saw someone on TikTok who like, she does kettlebell swings as like her main exercise. It looks like a really scary exercise. Like you're going to hurt your back but she talks about it and how like beneficial it is for you and how like how much stronger it made her. So I bought a kettlebell and I haven't used it yet because I'm sick and I don't need to be doing kettlebell swings. I just need my body to heal, but I'm super excited to start introducing that into my workout routine. I have a picture of a sticky note on here and it's like the largest picture in my vision board and it says, your life isn't yours if you care what others think. And I think that's very true. I think if, if you care so much about what everyone thinks, then it's going to stop you from doing what you love or it's gonna make you too, too it's gonna make you too afraid to do stuff because you're afraid of, of other people judging you, you're afraid of other people thinking you're stupid, people thinking that that you're awkward <laughs> or, or you know, all anything. You're not gonna live your best life if you're so concerned about what everyone thinks of you. You need to do what makes you happy and I mean, and not like, I don't care what anyone thinks about me, I'm gonna be a jerk, not, not in that way, but just not letting fear of being judged stop you from doing what you want to do. I have two pictures of like like fashion pictures. I have this picture that I've had for so long. These two women that are wearing jeans with heels because I think that just looks so cute. And then I have a picture of this woman with black pants and a blazer and red boots. These are pictures to remind me to not give up on how I dress sometimes. Like to, sometimes it can be really easy to just dress for comfort and there's nothing wrong with that but sometimes I feel like I dress maybe for comfort and then I don't feel like my best self. Like I could feel prettier, I could feel cuter, I could feel more confident if I dressed, if I tried a little bit harder when I got ready in the morning, <laughs> if I dressed maybe a little nicer. So, and I'm not telling myself that I have to wear heels or a blazer, but those are fashion pieces that I like and I, I don't like leaving the house and feeling like I don't look cute. It's, it's important to me to feel confident in what I'm wearing and that's just a reminder to make sure that when I leave the house, I feel confident in what I'm, what I'm wearing. So I, this year I really want to try to buy pieces 
that add to my wardrobe and add to like my style and not just another piece because I need a shirt for work and I don't even like it or I just bought it because it was a good deal because that is my thing. I'll buy something because it's a great deal and then I'm like, I don't even, I, I don't like this shirt really. So that is something I'm gonna try to stop <laughs> doing. And also that I also kind of, those pictures also kind of remind me to like even look cute inside the house or not just wear like any old thing when I go to bed. Like, I don't know, I really want to work on my fashion choices this year and make better choices in what I purchase. I'm kind of going, I'm going from the top down. I have a quote here, what would the most powerful version of me do right now? And that's a quote from The Mountain Is You. I, I just, I really like that quote. I, it's something that I've already started asking myself, like what would the best version of me do in this situation? What would, what would my most powerful version of me do? because I have, and I'm sure we all do, kind of like a vision of the person that we strive to be. And would that person make this decision that's maybe not the best decision or the easy decision or would you make the harder decision even though it's gonna be more work? Just kind of as a bad example, but um, I put that quote on there to ask myself, you know, what would this person, this me, the best version of me, what would I do? What would I want that person to do? What would I want that version of me to do? I have a little 2023 um, picture there and then I have good vibes only. I have good vibes only on my wall in my classroom and it's like six by six <laughs> because I really want to have good vibes in my classroom. I wanna have good vibes at home. I wanna be that person that walks into a room and just kind of like brightens up a room. I feel like there are people that can just like make everything better no matter what and they just are just have very good vibes and then there are people that walk into a room and they stress everyone out and they they bring the whole vibe down and i do not want to be that person because i know people like that and i when i see that i'm i want to be the opposite of that that's something that I really learned this year is like how much one person can affect an entire room of people with their attitude <laughs> and my vibe in the classroom I'm talking about the classroom right now but this applies to everything how I act in my classroom affects all my kids so if I come into my classroom and I'm super negative I complain the whole day that affects them and I don't wanna be that kind of person. Now, I probably am that kind of person sometimes, but I strive not to be because I really wanna be a person, a teacher, I wanna be the person in my house that just brightens up the room, that makes everything better, that brings the vibe up. That is like such a burden <laughs> for me is to just be that person that has positive vibes all the time. I have a picture of like the inside of an airplane and you're looking out to a city and there's the words, all we have is now. I have that tattooed on my arm. That's how much I love that quote because we're not promised tomorrow. All you have is today. And you have to make the most of every day. So I have that there to remind me. I have a picture of one of my makeup looks that I did. I think that's my favorite makeup look I've ever done. And um, I don't always do eyeshadow, but when I do, I really enjoy it. And I think that's just kind of a reminder to, to have fun with makeup. Sometimes I like a more natural look like what I have on right now, but there are days when I just wanna have a full on, super colorful makeup look. And it, that's okay, that's fun to do. And so just to remind myself to have fun with makeup. I have the book, The Mountain Is You. I was really, I was like literally sad when I finished this book. Cause there were so many times in that book where I felt like that was written for me. It was so good. I put that book on there to remind myself or to, I don't know what the word is. Yeah, I guess to remind myself to like look for books that 
are as life-changing as that one. <laughs> like, I, I love self-help books. I love reading about, reading books that can add to your life, that can help you become a better person, which can also in some ways be kind of bad because I'll read a, a fiction book and I'm like, I could be reading a self-help book and I'd be, be becoming a better person instead of just like wasting my time reading this book. <laughs> and that's like, I don't need to only read self-help books to become a better person. But I truly believe that some of these books that I've read, they have changed my life and have changed how I view things. And like, I think about them often and I'm like, okay, I need to do this and I need to self-reflect. Like all of those things, I remember them from certain books that were just like, eye-opening and this was one of those books so I put that on there and um, yeah I want to find more books like that that are super super good I have another skiing picture because I want to go skiing so bad and that does seem like that will happen next year which is great because I I've wanted to ski my whole life I, I really want to do that I have a picture of green juice to you know remind myself to drink gross things <laughs> that are good for me. I drank my green shake with beet juice today and it was gross, but it's good for me and I need to focus on not just eating less. <laughs> Eliminating things from your diet to maybe achieve your goal, but also adding good things to my diet. And, and then I have this very fit woman with these awesome abs and really toned arms. I really want to focus on getting stronger and feeling very confident in my body and I know I want to work on my body a lot this year. This is, I mean, this has been a struggle. This has been a struggle this year because I feel like I dieted the entire year and did not see any results. But I know it's because I did it wrong. I, I see that now. <laughs> I did yo-yo dieting throughout the whole year. I did work out, maybe not super consistently, but I worked out throughout the entire year, um, but not like on a set schedule. But I realized that throughout the year, I think I just tanked my metabolism basically by just eating in a deficit and then binging. So I decided, a few months ago, I went into a very like strict deficit and I was eating low carb. I was working out, like doing everything right and like counting calories correctly and saw no results. I did not lose any weight. And that was like, I think that was the light bulb moment where I was like, wow, I think my metabolism is, is that bad that I'm not seeing any results anymore. If weight is a triggering thing for you, then you may not want to watch this part, I guess, but I do want to lose weight. I'm not at my, I'm not at my goal weight right now. I was at my goal weight when we got married and um, I became a teacher, I gained weight and I have not been able to lose it. I've lost some and then gained it back, but I've just, I feel like I've, I've been trying to lose these, it's, it's 10 pounds, it's 10 pounds I need to lose and I've been trying to lose 10 pounds for five years. It should not take five years to lose 10 pounds and working on losing 10 pounds for five years is not healthy, I think. So what I did towards the end of November, no, mid-November to even now is I'm doing a reverse diet right now. I am not counting calories. I'm eating when I'm hungry, I'm stopping when I'm full and you know the crazy thing? I have not gained any weight. That is insane to me that I was in a deficit and did not lose weight. Now I'm eating what I want and I did not gain weight. That is just like so crazy to me. But <laughs> like I could have just been eating normally this whole time. <laughs> so what I wanted to do is eat normally, still try to eat, you know, healthy, but I'm eating more carbs than I was. And I'm, you know, if I want some sweets, I'm having sweets, but I'm also working out except for this week because I've been very sick. It ruined my whole routine. But working out, eating more, and doing that to help my metabolism. And this is not like something that I just like thought of. Was I, I follow, I follow Miss Fit Nerdy on YouTube and she has a whole video about being in a deficit and reverse dieting and it's great. And basically I'm following her advice and a month and a half really isn't the longest that you could reverse diet for. Like I probably could go longer, but I'm so ready. 
I feel like I'm ready now to go into a deficit to lose a little bit of weight and then but do it in a healthy way and not eat only a thousand calories there could be a whole video on this but basically yeah I, I I'm in a reverse diet right now so that I can go back into dieting and do it the right way but I recommend Miss Fit Nerdy she's awesome the last picture is the YouTube plaque, the silver one for 100,000 followers. That is, that's a goal for me. Um, I'm going to not put any pressure on myself because that's not going to do anything anyway. But that that is a goal, that's something I strive for. And honestly, like seeing that on there does not discourage me like, oh, I'm never gonna have 100,000 subscribers. But it's just, it's like manifesting. It's like, I'm, I want that to be there to encourage me to keep making content to one day get there. Now that might be f five years down the road, I don't know, but I'm gonna get there one day. So I like to have that on there to remind me that, uh, one, that I have to work to get that. I'm, I can't just, I can't expect to get that if I'm not making content. And that one day I will have that silver plaque. And I think I went over pretty much all of these, but just, Weight loss goals, I want to lose 10 pounds. Work out, I want to work out four times a week. I want to work out arms, legs, I want to do kettlebells, and I do want to do cardio because it's good for you. For YouTube, I want to continue to make vlogs, and I want to get better at filming and editing. Um, I feel like I'm starting to enjoy that more and I just want to get better. For my job, I want to have good energy and finish the year with fun. I want so badly for my kids to have fun, especially my eighth graders that are going to the high school. and. I feel like that's just been very much a goal this year, but I want to end the year with fun. Uh, some personal goals. I wrote something, I don't know what it says. <laughs> I guess it auto-corrected. Um, I want to care more about my fashion choices and buy good pieces, even if they do cost more. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That is, those are my goals for this coming year. I am so excited for this next year. I feel I feel like this is gonna be a really good year. 2022 was challenging for me. I feel like I challenged myself a lot to grow and sometimes <laughs> when you when you want to grow, then those challenges get sent your way <laughs> so, so that you can so that you can grow, growing pains. And I feel like that was 2022. I feel like I learned about myself, a lot about myself and how I can be a better person, be a a better wife, a better daughter, sister, sister-in-law, teacher, um, all of that. And I think 2023, I just really see growth. I, I see more growth this next year and I'm very excited for that. I wanna grow as a person and I want to strive to become more fit and healthy. <laughs> But um, I think that's all. I'm going to put that on my my phone. Well, I have it on my phone, but the size is wrong. <laughs> I, I need to fix the size because it's it's too zoomed in and I can't see all of my goals on there. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching, listening to me talk about my goals for next year. Thank you for watching Vlogmas. I, I've really enjoyed making all these videos. It's been really, really fun for me, even like the editing portion of it, I've been enjoying it. So thank you so much for your support. I would love it if you could like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.